Okay, game six of my match gets said. I'm up 3-2. Um, I was also up 3-2 against Lemon Spawn and ended up losing that one, so not guaranteed by any means. Um, we've got attacks here. We've got trashing with rats. Um, we've got the Druid um, as Earth's Gift, Forest's Gift, Wind's Gift. Not super great. Um, there's no village anywhere to be found. Um, you can do stuff with covens, you can do stuff with rats and pirate ship, it all feels terrible. Um, so Druid has this plus two cards, discard two cards, boon, and there's tunnel. So it seems like you're starting with Druid tunnel. And then maybe you get some minions and covens. None of that feels super great to me. Um, really hard to get outposts to work, really hard to get torturer to work. Um, you can only play one a turn, and if your opponent discards a estate in a tunnel gaining a gold, then you feel pretty silly. Uh, the nice thing about this is you can always use the Earth's Gift or the Forest's Gift if it doesn't collide with the tunnel. They went double Druid. Uh, I'm going to high roll it here as player two and go Druid Tunnel. Um, did not pay off, um, at least not on turn two. We'll see what they, they accomplish. They, on turn three, gain a tunnel and a Druid. Um, I can consider just using the plus two cards, discard two cards now um, to get a clean shuffle, or I can do the, uh, or I can do the discard. So I can get two druids, druid tunnel. The druid tunnel stuff is not like super inspiring to me, but I kind of only wanted one druid to get me set up, but because they didn't didn't collide early on, I'm kind of stuck in this mirroring. Uh, and I believe we have identical decks. So they did find a tunnel, which is nice. And I will try to find a tunnel as well. I did not. And I guess we're just piling down the tunnels. Um, I have two tunnels down there, so I'm, I'm guaranteed to find at least one. Um, one third's chance of finding two. Um, I want another druid. I feel like this is too many druids, so no. And I knew I had a tunnel in the top, and I knew I had a bunch of druids, so it seems likely there. We've got an equal number of golds now. Um, they have one extra card that I don't have. They have an extra tunnel. Um, we'll see if they buy the last tunnel here. You know, this may end up just being a Silk Roads rush. Um, we each have a couple of tunnels. We buy a bunch of estates and duchies with the golds we get. Um, they got a coven. Okay. I see the appeal to the coven. My concern is just that, though, I buy tunnel estate and then I have seven, I have eight VP cards, and then the silk, and then I get a bunch of estates and duchies, and the silk roads are going to be worth four, and I'm going to be able to buy those every turn of the game. They're not going to hit me five times. Um, I also think perhaps minion is better um, in terms of churning to find tunnels and golds and stuff. Um, is it too early? I have, what, three golds now in my deck. Um, I'd like to have more before I start the rush stuff, but it doesn't seem crazy to get like tunnel estate and then just pile down, slam down silk roads um, and estates, and the coven is going to be too slow. So I think I'm going to go for this. Feels a little gross, but we'll see. We'll see what they do now that they've got the the minion. Uh, they didn't know oh, they found one tunnel there. Okay, that's nice. I was going to say if they find no tunnels, that's pretty sad. I couldn't get to four there, which is unfortunate. I think the Silk Roads end up being worth more than Duchies at the end of the game. Wow. That was an incredible turn from them. Hopefully I can do the same on my turn. I think it's possible that either of us get to provinces um, here because of the sheer amount of golds that we have in the deck and the the Wind's Gifts makes that at least possible, but they're going to be up on Silk Roads, which is a big deal. That I didn't hit four that one turn is really unfortunate. Um, this turn, and I could have done the Earth's Gift, I guess. 
Um, <sighs> seems unlikely that they won't hit four here, but it's within their realms of power. Okay, so they got a province. So I'm going to take the Earth's Gift here in the last tunnel by a duchy. I'm going to gain the last Silk Roads by a duchy. Well, I can't do anything with what I have, so. Well, they've got two provinces already. That seems remarkable to me that we have very, very similar deck constructions. <laughs> and they've hit province twice, and I haven't. Um, I'm not... Not quite sure there. And now I can't buy anything with the money that I have, which is unfortunate. Um, because they've got this lead. Okay, that crossed me over a Silk Roads boundary, which is quite, quite nice. Um, so what can I do with the Druid here? Not much. I can get... Yeah, I guess I get nothing. Well, I could... I don't, I don't know. I could cycle there, I guess. But this game feels over. Uh, I cannot buy an estate. I don't know, like, I, I, I thought our deck constraints were identical, and their deck is doing way more than mine, so I don't, I don't quite understand. I don't quite understand looking at the log. Uh... It, looking at the log, exactly what happened here. We have the same number of golds. I have more golds. I have the same number of druids. Like the one coven is the difference between provincing and twice, three times, and not provincing. Is I don't understand. I don't. I don't quite understand what happened there. Um, they beat me, so they maybe did something. Um, did something better. Um, but we'll see. Uh, I'll see if anybody who watched this video has any ideas. Um, maybe I went for the, the state Silk Roads stuff too early, um, although they did it just to turn after me. Um, so all in all, fair result, 3-3, three, three. Um, especially after that disastrous uh, disastrous first match. Um, so there you go. And uh, thanks for watching it, everybody. Please leave a comment if you have any ideas on how I could play it better, or uh, message me if you'd like to play a match on uh, Dominion Online. Thank you.